Hey, what's up guys? It's Bajan at Baker Hill Farm. Oh, kitty. Y'all know Teddy is always following me around. I'm starting some seeds today. And um, I feel like I should have already done this. It's only like, what, January 4th? Maybe, I don't know. I gotta start my peppers, guys. I, I should have already started my peppers and I should have already started cabbage. I'm gonna go ahead and start it and just see if I can get some. I never have a good time with cabbage because our, our weather is so weird here. We'll have like a random super frosty day that's like 15 degrees and then it's like 95 four weeks later. So things that are temperamental and like longer cool seasons don't really do well here, but things that like long hot seasons do amazing here. So I'm gonna start some seeds, but before we do all that, I'm gonna tell you the seeds that I'm throwing away, uh, which you might find interesting or you might not. I'm just gonna tell you why, and it might give you things to think about, especially if you're in a similar zone as I am. All right, I came back inside real quick because I wanted to show y'all these things that I'm tossing and not keeping. Um, so one of the major things to consider when you are purchasing seeds, something that I did not consider years ago when I first started purchasing, and some of these seeds are from years ago, like their best buy was 2017. <laughs> Um, and I was also given some seeds, but anyways, one thing to con one thing to consider is is this seed company, this seed farm, in a similar zone as you are. So a lot of people do not consider this, and I definitely think it's something that more people should think about because if the seed farm is literally a farm, and they're like in America and they are cultivating the seeds on their farm, then those seeds are used to a specific climate. So if you're in zone eight and you're buying your seeds from a seed farm in zone five and they tell you that they're southern acclimated but they are from that zone, it's not really the same, okay? And they might not do or perform really well in your zone. So for me personally, some of the seeds that I'm throwing away are from Baker Creek Seeds. Now I have grown lots of Baker Creek seeds and they've done phenomenal, but they are not in the same zone as me. They're several zones away. I think they might be zone five or six and I'm in zone eight. And just the environment is so different. We are so humid here. And a lot of their heat loving varieties that they claim are heat loving varieties just don't perform well in my truly heat loving environment. So that's just a disclaimer. Now I will tell you that there's some seeds that I've gotten from them that have been phenomenal. Um, for example, these Jubilee watermelons, these do really great. I really, really like these. I am getting rid of them though because I have a new packet and I'm trying out some different varieties from companies that are closer to my zone. The other ones I'm getting rid of are these spoon tomatoes this was a free seed packet truly i just am like why why would i take the time to grow this and have these little bitty tiny tomatoes that i'm going to pull the green off and probably half the tomato with it i just don't have time for that um the other one i'm getting rid of is another from their company i promise they're not all from their company um, is this Cabbage Premium Late Flat Dutch. I have tried to grow this three years and it doesn't perform well at all for me. I'm guessing it's my environment. Like I said before, cabbage is hard for me. I have grown other varieties though that did better. These, I've tried to grow these um, three years in a row as well. They are a perennial, I'm pretty sure. Yes, they can be a perennial just depending on your climate. They were supposed to be for my research for me. They can't withstand our heat. They don't do well at all in our heat. Um, another one that I'm getting rid of is this Chinese white celery. To be honest, I don't even really like celery. And this does not do well here. It doesn't grow well here at all. So I'm getting rid of that. Another one is this DeJesse cauliflower. Now I have grown this and I have pictures on my Instagram where this is a beautiful plant, like it's gorgeous, but it is so um, prone to bugs. 
Like there's no bug resistance at all. Of course, these are heirlooms, but I mean, it's just, it's just not, not something I want to continue trying to grow. Um, another one that I'm probably going to get rid of, I don't know, is this acorn squash. Okay, I like acorn squash. This one's from Johnny Seeds. This one did not taste good to me. This is the um, Mofka acorn winter squash. It is organic, toughy, organic I'm guessing. I don't know. It wasn't good. This is like a fairly new packet. These, it just didn't taste good, I'm telling you. It didn't taste good. Okay, another one I'm getting rid of are these uh, Brussels sprouts from Baker Creek. These are the all Long Island Improved. They never get over, like, the plant never gets over, like, a foot tall. And I get these little, I mean, they look like little lumps on the stalk. I never get really good Brussels sprouts. And I just, I just don't have time to fiddle and try to make it work year after year. Okay, another one I'm getting rid of, this is because it's an old seed, and um, this seed actually grows really well. These are the St. Pierre Red Tomatoes. Uh, they're just not what I'm looking for in a tomato as a slicer. For a slicer for me, they're a little bit too small. Um, they are not as heat tolerant as you would want for zone 8. It says online that they are for a warmer climate, but they just can't handle... Louisiana. So I'm just, it's not my favorite. Um, these are also not my favorite tomato. These um, pear and tomatoes, they worked one year for us and grew okay, but um, I've just found others that I like a lot better. Okay, another one, it's another tomato. It was a free seed. Y'all, I'm convinced that these free seeds are just the unwanted seeds. Like, why else would they give them out for free? And I hate all of them, pretty much. The only ones I like is if it's a flower. Yeah, I just didn't really care for this. And it wasn't, it didn't have like the color range that I thought it was gonna have. Like a honey brown skin, orange pink flesh. I don't know, it just didn't really look that awesome. Okay, another one that I'm getting rid of is might surprise you is this borage um i just cannot get this specific brand to grow like i i don't know if i just got a bad seed packet it's very this one's very old it was packed for 2021 um but i tried in 2020 and i tried in 2021 because i'm pretty sure the seeds come out a little bit earlier because i got it the year before but i might Sometimes I buy my seeds at a weird time, like December or something. I actually just bought my seeds, so I will be doing a seed haul of what I got. And I'm looking around to see if there's anything else that I'm getting rid of, and I don't see anything. I have considered getting rid of these flax seeds from Brim Seed Company just because like, I don't know if I want to grow this. I don't know, but I haven't yet. So. I said those weren't all brim from Baker Creek Seeds. There was one that wasn't, but most of them were. And I really just think it's a zoning issue. I just think that I need to be buying my seeds from someone down in the same zone as me, like Brim Seed Company. And let's see, what's another one? Johnny Seeds is not in the same zone as me, but their seeds have performed better than Baker Creek for me. Another company I really like is Haas seeds y'all these national pickling cucumbers i grew these last year for the first time the best the best pickles in the world in the world yeah i said it in the world better than any store-bought pickle you could ever get okay i will tell you when you go to the store if you're going to get a store-bought pickle like the best one you can get is the bubbies i think it's bubbies they're phenomenal these I'm not kidding. They're so good. Um, and then this other one, well, I can't show you all the ones that I like because I'm going to show you that in the seed hall. But anyways, so it's a zoning thing. That's why I'm getting rid of these. I just truly believe that even the ones that say they're Southern acclimated, y'all, they don't know. If you're down in the South, they don't even know. They think they know. They don't know. So anyways, I hope you guys found that video helpful. I'm about to go start some seeds and yeah. 
See you in the next one. Bye.